When someone talks about winter sports for train, some think of indoor track, basketball for both boys and girls, wrestling, and ice hockey. But in 2013, a new sport was added, the train swim team. Okay, so who came up with the idea of a swim team and why did you decide to coach it? Um, one of the swimmers from Triton uh, went to Sean McGinnis when he became the AD and really wanted a team. She went and asked other students, she got like a group of people who said they would do it and they kept on really pestering Mr. McGinnis about it. Then what happened was Mr. McGinnis called the YWCA looking for a pool. I'm the director here at the pool and also I'm a swim coach. And so at that time, I said, I can get you pool time, and I also want to interview for the position. Um, I decided to create the swim team because I've been swimming with a club team since sixth grade, and I thought it would be really great if Triton had a swim team of their own. And I knew of some friends at Triton and Georgetown and Newburyport who were interested in getting a team together. So I talked to Mr. McGinnis, and he said that we could pull a team together if we could find a coach, and we did. So. That was kind of how it started. So, why did you decide to join the swim team? Well, um, I've been swimming for seven years, and I actually was thinking about quitting swimming, and then I decided to join this team, and it like really changed my whole perspective on swimming. It's so much fun. I joined the swim team because I love swimming, first off, and wanted to meet some new people because I was new to the district. How do you get to determine who gets to swim in these events? So, my main goal is to get everybody involved in the meet. Everybody has to get one event. But you also want to win a meet. So then you have to look at who does, who has their best performances, who, ha who specializes in certain, certain events. Then I look at last year's meet against the team that we're swimming against and see how did we fare. So it's a process that takes me about a week. Um, the typical practice is honestly like since we only have 45 minutes it's like a very fast paced practice but it really prepares you because the high school are extremely fast paced as well so it really like so since you're doing like really fast um, sets it really prepares you to do uh, well in the meet. Normally the practice is Monday through Thursday are 45 minutes and it's normally like like ongoing continuously and there's like two groups that you split up and on Fridays everyone comes together. Cool. And it's like, how do you win a swim meet and how's the swim based on A relays for a four lane pool is first place is six points Second place is four points. Third place is two points. Then for individual events is first place is four, second place is three, third place is one. All right, what's your idea about having the um, four schools uh, combined? I think it's a great idea. I know it's like a lot of schools, but like, it's still a small team and like you get to make so many new friends and like some from, from so many different towns. It's like, it's really great, I love it. While you were organizing the um, swim team, why did you think of having it as a co-op team instead of just a train swim team? Okay, so one of the reasons why, we it actually has two reasons. The first is we didn't know if we had enough kids to be able to support a swim team. And the last thing we wanted to do was to start a team and not have enough student athletes to be able to support it. Um, and the other option too was because we wanted to help build some of the swimming programs in this area. So it's a common practice for co-ops, you know, you don't see it that often, but very common whenever you start new teams, and that usually changes within, you know, two, three, four years after starting. So the team goal this year is to, we won two meets last year, I'd like to win maybe three or four meets this year, and improve our performance. Individual goals goes towards each individual swimmer. I want each individual swimmer to perform the best to their ability. So if it's improving times, um, swimming more events, making it to uh, sectionals, making it to states, those are individual goals. Um, so we have lots of goals and there's always a team goal. The team goal, the number one team goal is to have fun.